Hello and welcome back. I'm Robachini and we're here playing Scandinavia where we are fighting another war against Great Britain and um, we are definitely winning. Yeah, Great Britain is not standing much of a chance on their uh, on their home island. And Austria also is also not doing so well. What did I just finish occupying? Oh, province up here. It looks like Austria is coming by to... Oh, Austria is walking around to get beaten up by France's army. That's what they're doing. So we can probably uh, go off and carpet siege. Austria. I definitely think so. Because they just lost their army. So this coalition that's against me right now is basically done. <laughs> Make sure that Austria pays for something here. Maybe gives me some provinces or something. Actually, what I'm saying, what am I saying? All the provinces that I'm going to take are going to be from Great Britain, so I'm going to have to punish Austria in another way. I don't want any extra overextension that's not from Great Britain. So all their ships are blockading my uh, my fleet there. That's all right though. What's this? Twenty-one, forty-two, one and three. Yeah, that that fleet would beat my fleet. It's parked there. Pomerania wants to surrender. They're like, oh, we made a big mistake. Yes, you did. You certainly did. Alright, I'm not buying any techs right now because I'm gonna have to spend points to secure peace deals. Oh no! I didn't want to break that siege. Good, I didn't. I didn't break the siege. Good. Oh, it looks like Great Britain is sending over one troop. It's one troop army here. Let's go, uh, let's go get them out of here. This is our land now, Great Britain. Our land. We have their capital occupied. We got, uh, basically everything occupied. And our war score is uh, pretty good. Oh, we finally, <laughs> I forget, I always forget about my missions. We finally completed the mission to construct a grand fleet. That's good. Uh, let's, let's do another Navy mission for more Navy stuff. Pretty sure, pretty soon we'll have Great Britain here surrendering for whatever we want. Let's see, let's get all these ships together. And maybe go meet up with our other fleet. And perhaps we can uh, fight Great Britain's uh, navy together. Yeah, we're gonna try that. We get 11 new heavies. Yeah, they're moving out of the way. They don't want anything to do with this. It's 173 fleet coming in. Where did these four guys come from? How much war exhaustion do they have? Not enough. I am gonna park out here and hopefully destroy their fleet when uh, when I finish the siege. Oh, whoa! They came out to meet me. Oh, but we're winning! We're finally winning a battle against them, although they're still kind of tearing me apart. It's all right, as long as I sink some of their ships. So we lost a bunch, but they also, thankfully, lost a bunch, and they're out of heavies. This fleet has no heavies. All right. 
crush the majority of Great Britain's fleet. That feels good. That feels good. Yes, that is. That is very nice. 97% war score, huh? What happens if I sue Austria for separate peace? Um, what would I want from them? I can make them revoke an imperial reform. Can I make them um, disband the HRE? Oh yeah. Uh, I I could if I control Ween. It looks like. So we'll we'll uh, we'll look at that. We'll go try for that. Why not? Destroy Austria's power base. I am all for that. Oh, there's a bunch of Austrian uh, men over here. Probably could have grouped up and done this attack right here better than what I just did, but we'll kill them. Let's, uh, let's get the rest of those Austrians. Uh, I would like stability. Stability. Good. More, more of those Austrians are dead. So I am going to actually take all 99 of these. And, oh, well, one sec. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split them in half. Half will go and defend Lubeck, and then half I'm going to have... Does it make the sense to defend also here? Or does it make, just make sense to defend Lubeck? I think it just makes sense to defend Lubeck. So let's send them all to defend Lubeck. And then over here I'm going to use uh, this template have light ships and build uh, another 35 and they can be my go with the rating fleet. Yeah, I understand you want to surrender. Oh, so, so what do I have to do? I have to, the electric cologne is not controlled by you or one of your dependents. Uh, they don't appear to be. Can I, who can I separate piece here? I am separate piece cologne. Uh, uh, Wurzburg, is Wurzburg in this war? They're not, they're not in this war. Um, who else? Uh, Ansbach, I believe Ansbach is in the war. Ansbach is in the war. And Milan, Milan's not in the war. And I don't think Mainz is either. Okay, so I gotta get Cologne out of the war, and I got to get uh, Ansbach out of the war. So we'll go do that. Everybody else can just sit around and wait. Because this HRE is going away. Protestantism is the real religion. 
We don't believe in any of this other crap. There's no such thing as the Holy Roman Empire. So who's this? Salzburg. Yeah, the people that we need to get out of the war aren't ready to leave just yet. why it's saying those five names but I'm not at war with all of them it's not controlled by you or one of my dependents I don't think um, I think it's only the two of them that I'm at war with so it should be the only ones that are a problem force these guys out of the war. So I would like to force my religion on you, make you pay war repara reparations, uh, and then money, and then annul treaties. Or I wonder if I wonder if them having to pay me stuff and having a truce with me uh, counts as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, so now, now, now it switched down to um, to less names here. So I, I don't know why it still says like Milan. We're not at war with Milan. Milan's not at war with anyone. Well, I guess if it doesn't work right away, we can separate piece out everyone else, and uh, and then and then see what's what's up. I want to dismantle that HRE, and it's okay to let Britain sit here and uh, Great Britain sit here and get tons of tons and tons and tons of war exhaustion. That's that's fine by me. Two for peace. I want to force my religion on you, make you pay war reparations, uh, and then I'll take some money. So they converted to the true faith now. So Wurzburg, Maine, and Milan, apparently, are, um, there's a, they, uh, I guess, I guess for some reason it, it feels like I'm occupying them or I have control over them. I don't understand where it's getting that. Let's just uh, slowly take some of these other people out of the war and see if the, if that resolves uh, some of this stuff. Maybe it's just complaining about other people, other people from the HRE still being in the war. I don't know. I will take war reparations. Yeah, let's. So let's see. And then Salzburg. Salzburg out of the war. Force our re religion on them. Eh. Do I want the money or to force religion? I want to force religion. Okay. So it's saying Pomerania is not controlled by me or one of my dependents. Does that mean that we're that one of my dependents is like walking on their territory? I don't know. Cuz we we don't control them. So what does it say now? Yeah, Pomerania is still in there. But the other two, 
got knocked out when I... Huh. Oh, because they're not electors anymore because I made them change religion. Oh, I see. They just aren't electors anymore because I made them change religion. So I don't... Oh, I have to occupy all the electors. That's what that's saying. If I want to dismantle the HRE, I have to occupy all the electors. That's worded weird. So it's worded from the um, standpoint of Austria. And I was reading it from my own standpoint. So I do have to occupy all of the electors. Right. Occupy or control. I have to occupy or control all the electors. And then also occupy the leader of the HRE's capital. Right. Okay. That makes more sense. Although that's incredibly hard. Alright, I would like to... Uh, I could give some land back and cripple Austria. Is that what I want to do? Well, I can make him pay war reparations and I can take a whole bunch of money. So we're going to do that first. And then... Make him return stuff to Milan. And Switzerland. And then annul some treaties. No, they won't do that. So we'll, we'll just do this. And uh, there we go. Austria is now weaker. Not to mention that they are just occupied forever. So they're kind of weaker from that as well. All right, we're going to need to group these guys together, then we split them to make two armies again. And then, then we got Great Britain over here. And so we want to sue for peace with them. I want the rest of Ireland right now. Or actually, I should probably grab the stuff that I need to culture convert so the nationalism starts to go away. Oh, wow, that is a lot. So is it, is it yeah, it's 101 just from this stuff. Now, if I get this, administrative efficiency is going to reduce the war score cost of acquiring these, but it means that I can't core them right when I, right after I get them right now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it so I can acquire more in this war. So I should be able to acquire more now. Yeah, I can. Okay, that's 101. I can at least acquire the six provinces that I wanted. And then um, I can make... Oh, oh! I thought forced religion was 15%. I was like, wow, it's really cheap now. I make them uh, pay war reparations to me and give me a bunch of money. So that's good. Yeah, now England is... Uh, or Great... They're not England, but Great Britain is much smaller again. I like it. Uh going to have to make some cores. Let's uh, convert a few people here. Get that reformed out of here. And uh, we're getting our units back in place. We are, our military force limit's huge. So is our navy force limit. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's very high. And we can get um, more Diplo tech. We have a ton of money. I could use that to build up to my Navy force limit. Let's see if we can build some of these buildings. Uh, these special buildings. Uh, I want trade buildings. Yeah, let's. Uh, this is what I'm going to waste most of my money on. And then, what else do I want? What else do I want? I think now, um, probably, no, we can't buy that template's worth of trade ships, but we can probably buy a couple of war galleys, because we're going to need them later. I want command of the high seas now. And 
I think this will give it to me. So we have 100 power projection. That's probably going to stay for quite some time now. Let's uh, up the speed here. It looks like our, uh, our vessels might have broke again. That's annoying. It's like every time they produce new units. Uh, gain... <laughs> gain one stability or 50 prestige. I have 99 prestige and three stability. I guess I'll gain what is effectively one prestige. All right. Uh, Brittany entered into a military coalition against me. That's cool. Whatever they want to do. Uh, I want army tradition, although it was probably already at 100. I didn't really check. All right, let's bring these guys together. Now, who are our actual um, enemies here? Castile, Ottomans, and Great Britain. Great Britain is pretty beaten up at this point. But okay, uh, let's split these guys up, bring them over here. Um, so what happens if we privateer in the English Channel? Well, for one, we're probably going to make a bunch of money, and then we get well, we get power projection too. Although we're already maxed out on that, so I guess that doesn't matter anymore. Okay, I don't care if peasants rise up. Let them rise up. Where are they? Let's go march over and kill him. Still need to attack Oldenburg. They're in a coalition against me. Who else is in a coalition against me? Bohemia, Hess, Castile, Brittany, hmm, Venice. So we could conduct another pretty big war here, but I want to gain some provinces, and I gotta. I should finish coring what I already got. Um, before I do that. So we'll work to finish coring things. And converting them and all that stuff. So we're getting some cores here. Doing some converting. So in the next war, I'm going to want to, oh, it looks like we're getting another, someone else is joining us on this island over here. Um, it looks like in the, in the next war, we're going to want to uh, isolate London so we can take their capital next time. That, uh, that's probably the goal for the next war. Now we're making a ton of money. And that is mainly because we, uh, we're we getting um, war reparations from, from like everyone. Everyone's paying us money now. I really like that. I like that everyone's paying us money. That's what they should be doing. Netherlands entered into a military coalition against me. That's nice. I guess they have a death wish too. Alright, uh, I think that's all the ships that we're building. Let's get them together with this pirate fleet. So the pirate fleet can be a little bit more effective. I also have that mission to... Um, uh, we'll do the English Channel again. I have that mission for to get my fleet up to the correct size, so gotta do that. Let's buy some more ships. Seventy-five percent of my uh, maximum fleet size. That's actually pretty big. I'm gonna need a lot more ships than what I just ordered, but I guess we'll get there sooner or later. <laughs> Let's make another core. At least we didn't go over 100% this time. I 
think that's mainly because we got that admin tech. And all right, most of these guys are our, of our faith now. <laughs> we got a lot of people that hate us, so we're gonna have to go to war again soon. And uh, I'm gonna have to reload here. Just wanna, just wanna get all of these, all of these things coring. Oh, diplomatic uh, reputation up. Well, 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 well. With that, should I annex? Should I annex Muscovy? It looks like Muscovy has expanded as far as they can expand. I'm gonna annex them. Yep, I'm gonna annex Muscovy. Add them, add their lands to my own, so Scandinavia can own all of the all of the Northlands. Um, absolutely. And yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. So if you're liking the series, make sure to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.